Hello, I'm Jeff Goldman, and I'm from the University of Johannesburg, and I'm co-author and editor of the book Critical Management Studies in South Africa, Directions and Context, and I'd like to tell you a little bit more about our book. This book is aimed at management academics, as well as postgraduate students at master's and doctoral level, and also management practitioners who would like to stay abreast of the latest developments in management theory. It's our view that this book makes a definite contribution to the management discourse in South Africa, as critical management studies is a very new and underexplored area in management. And this book represents but the second formalized book on critical management studies in South Africa. The book is divided into two parts, firstly directions and secondly context. In the first part of the book, Directions, Chapter 1 addresses the whole idea of criticality. And I ask the question in the chapter, what should we be critical of and how critical should we be of it? In the second chapter, Callahan looks at the whole idea of emancipatory critical management studies to propose a new research agenda. In Chapter 3, Van der Linde and Talyard ask the question, is critical management studies the beginning or the end? And they want to find out whether critical management studies is sustainable or whether it is just another management fad. In chapter four, Nukuna and Eccles look at the whole, the whole idea of Western superiority versus African inferiority in management education and the decolonization of the management discourse in South Africa. Context kicks off with chapter five, which is an interesting chapter by Katumba, Maboke, Teles, and Van der Linde, which looks at management education as a barrier to critical management studies through the eyes of management students. In chapter six, Smith and Pretorius look at hubris in the entrepreneurship discourse and the dominance of positivism in the entrepreneurship discourse. Staying with entrepreneurship, in Chapter 7, Pretorius, LaRue, Roslyn Smith and Letzolo look at entrepreneurship development, specifically in developing countries, and ask whether entrepreneur, entrepreneurship development is in fact the silver bullet it's made out to be. In the final chapter, Chapter 8, Kraus takes a fascinating look at the world of pastorpreneurship. And asks, the, and asks the question, do you want to make money? Well then, start a church. I hope you enjoy reading the book as much as we enjoyed working on the book. And I hope that the book is a catalyst for further discussion in the field of critical management studies. Thank you very much.